Hello, Sam Owens here. It's been a while since I've gotten a uh, maintenance video or an issue with the Polaris slingshot. But uh, here's one that uh, all of you are going to come across at one point or another. When you bump this uh, spoiler, I've got rough edges. I've bumped mine a few times. Uh, before I really learned what to do and what you're going to end up with is possibly a gap right here it can be quite pronounced this side is great uh, tight and uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to make a spoiler adjustment now the reason it's moving is I've already uh, loosened the bolts on this side what I'm going to do is show you which bolts that you need to loosen in order to close this gap up it doesn't look good plus I can't get my motorcycle jack up underneath here with it dropped down uh, plus you're going to hit curbs a lot more if this is not tight across here like that side so you always want these meeting and if if it gets like this then here's what you have to do i've already loosened these bolts at the bottom are your main strong supports right here there's a slot in both of these brackets which mount to a supporting rod which uh, holds a spoiler now there's two uh, other adjustments right here so to move this whole unit if you see they're all moving this is how you do it with these four bolts you should be able to line this up properly and then tighten these bolts and then you will have your full uh, five inches of clearance right now with this drop down I'm missing probably a half inch of clearance so I'm gonna rub uh, so let me uh, show you what we got to do a lot of you probably had motorcycles like I did and I had a motorcycle jack these are very inexpensive at Harbor Freight and they're very well adapted to working with the uh, slingshot you can get in the front and the back of the frame to lift uh, the slingshot up in order to do a lot of different maintenance items so I pull uh, there's a bar right up underneath here and you'll see it when you look down that support all of this I'm gonna get my pads up under at least one of them up underneath that bar and then I'm just gonna simply jack it up and watch this here we go see it moved and it moved a little more okay we have perfect alignment right here right there we are at our best alignment and I look on the other side and the other side uh, did not come um, unadjusted so I don't have an issue with that so now I'm going to simply tighten all four of these bolts and I should maintain that uh, clearance there okay I've got my tools ready with the proper sockets make sure you get the proper sockets I'm not going to tell you what they are because I can't see without my glasses right now. Just work it out. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the main adjustment first. So I put this in tightening, put her on here, and right now the jack is holding the spoiler at the right attitude. I'm going to put a little bit of tightening on each one and then I'm going to pull tight 
uh, be careful of dropping off. A little more tight. Okay. Now, both of the bottoms are tight. Now, I'm going to grab my other smaller socket, making sure I have it in tightening mode. Okay, that one's a little tight. And this one. Now I'm going to tighten a little bit more. Tight. And tight. Go back and check this one. Okay. Because we don't want it to move from this adjustment. I'm going to go back down, make sure these are tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to slowly release this. This should stay the same. And I push it down. And look at there. Guys, that's your spoiler adjustment. You got the same two bolts on the other side. If the spoiler becomes unadjusted from this uh, gap here on both sides, try to keep them tight like this, and now you know how to do it. To finish this up, I want you to see we have a nice tight fit here and a nice tight fit there the spoiler is adjusted to the uh, perfect position now you will be able to clear uh, anything that's five inches so try it out if yours does not meet properly